Let's take a look at using the potentiometer as a voltage divider. In my previous lesson, I showed how to use the potentiometer as a variable resistor. Now let's take a look at how to use it as a voltage divider. A voltage divider is used to drop down some voltage less than what the power supply is providing. For instance, let's say you have got a 10 volt power supply and you need 5 volts as a reference voltage for an input to your Arduino or to an op amp or something. How are you going to get that 10 volts down to 5 volts? Well, here are a couple of ways that you could do that. I'm thinking that it's going to be a little bit more clear to start my explanation by using resistors as a voltage divider and then moving to the description of the potentiometer. And I'm thinking this only because the resistor description is going to be a little bit more clear. If you are not familiar with potentiometers, this will help a lot, I think, to see it first. If you are familiar with potentiometers, you can go straight to the time that I'm showing on the screen right now to the potentiometer version of the voltage divider. Let's first compare a voltage divider created using two fixed resistors. So let me take this resistor out, and we see that that's a 1K resistor, 1,000 ohms. And let's take another one out. And let's get a power supply. I used a 9 volt battery previously. I'm going to use a 10 volt power supply just because it'll make calculations a little easier. Don't worry, we're not going to do much calculating, but it'll make it a little bit easier to take a look at what I'd like to demonstrate. So let's get a power supply. P O W E should be plenty. Yep, there I can click on power now, and then it will reveal a power supply. So let's drag that out and let's connect that. I like to make the positive lead always at the top. So I'm going to draw a couple of little fancy curves here. And then I like the negative lead to be at the bottom. OK, and let's make the power supply. Let's uh, actually let's color these leads. Let's make ground uh, negative ground black and positive red. And just because I can't stand it, I'm going to straighten these to 90 degree angles. Now, let's check our voltage here and see what's going on. So we'll start the simulation and let's set our voltage for 10 volts. And we can just rotate this dial or we can click in here and then come over here and say 10 volts and hit enter. And it shows us then that at 10 volts, we got 1K resistor here and a 1K resistor here. A circuit with a total resistance of 2K will draw 5 milliamps. So this could be our voltage divider. We've got a 10 volt supply. We only want 5 volts. If we've got two equal resistors, that's going to split the voltage in half. So there'll be 5 volts right there. Let's measure that and find out. This power supply is obviously a variable voltage source. So you might be wondering, why don't I just lower the power supply to 5 volts and forget the voltage divider? Well, the reason is Tinkercad doesn't provide a fixed supply other than a 9 volt battery to use in our simulations. So I have to use the variable supply. So just imagine that this is a fixed 10 volts and we're using the voltage divider to get a 5 volt output from a fixed 10 volt source. I am going to get a multimeter here. MUL should be plenty. And click on that. And there it is. And let's bring that out. We'll put the plus lead in between these two resistors. And the negative lead at ground. And it may not be totally obvious to you, but this lead, it's the same thing as if I connected it here. So what we want to do is measure the voltage across this resistor. We're trying to get 5 volts out so that we could connect that to something. So let's run this simulation. And sure enough, at this junction, we have got 5 volts. So there is a simple voltage divider that you can use for a reference voltage for a volume control, an op amp, an Arduino, etc. So let's make a little bit more room here. Stop the simulation and just drag this stuff over. Let's get rid of our potentiometer for a moment. What you would do then is you could you could have some kind of a device out here. Let's say it's because it's so common. Let's say it's an Arduino. When you're using an Arduino, 
you are often looking for some kind of input from a water depth sensor or an IR infrared detector of some kind or some sensor of some type. You're looking for a five volt reference coming into your Arduino so the Arduino can turn on a lamp or sound an alarm or something. So this voltage divider would be a way for you to test that if you're looking for that five volt reference. So let's just bring that out here. That baby is big. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And let's say that we want reference to come into, I don't know, pin seven. So if we want to do this just as a test, what we can do is we can run a wire from pin seven in the Arduino to our five volt junction here. And let's make that color orange just for kicks. So there's how we could do a kind of some kind of a test. If Arduino is looking for a five volt reference, there's how we can give Arduino a five volt reference. And we could we could output uh, some an alarm or blinking light or something somewhere in the output of the Arduino. Once it sees five volts in, it would light up the light, for instance. So this is one way that you could use your voltage divider to provide that five volt input for Arduino. Then if you wanted to use a potentiometer that would allow you to vary that reference voltage and you only need one device instead of two resistors, you could just use the one potentiometer. Let's take a look at how we would create that circuit. So let's just kind of slide this off to the side and let's build the circuit using the potentiometer. So we'll bring that out and I'm going to rotate that a bunch of times so that the leads line up a little bit better the way that I would like them to. Let's take a look at our other circuit here so that we can kind of get an idea of what we're trying to accomplish here. What we're trying to do is trying to get five volts out of our voltage divider. What we're trying to do then is we're trying to get five volts. Let's run the simulation. We're trying to get five volts out of a 10 volt power supply. And of course, in my sample here, I can just vary the voltage down to five volts and be done with it. But we're talking about creating a voltage divider. So we're going to start with a power source that's too large and drop down the voltage to the five that we're after. In fact, let's go with a nine volt battery. Might be easier for you to test if you don't have a power supply on hand. You probably have a nine volt battery. Let's add that as our power supply over here, and it will give us a little bit more reason to use the wonderful features of Tinkercad to calculate what we need in resistance for our five volts out. With the 10 volt, it was easy to just split two exact same resistor values. We know that halfway in between, or right in between those two resistors, would be five volts. If we do that over here, it's going to come out a little bit differently. So remember in our previous lesson that this potentiometer is just one very long resistive element inside here. And depending on where we adjust our knob determines how much resistance we have at our output pins. And we only used th uh, two pins in the variable resistor sample previously. Now we're going to use three. And the reason we're going to use three is because this top leg is going to be is going to represent the connection for the positive terminal and the middle leg is going to be this tap halfway through or at some position in between full voltage and ground and then the third leg is going to be ground it's going to represent the ground connection so let's put our nine volt battery over here let's get our battery back and let's put that over here and rotate that a bunch of times. And then remember, I can't see the polarity here unless I click away from this battery. So there's the positive terminal. I'm going to run a lead from that over to the top of my potentiometer. And then from ground, I am going to run a lead over to the bottom of the potentiometer. Then what I need to do is tap that middle one that we want to use for our test reference into the Arduino of five volts. So let's bring another Arduino out here. I'm just going to copy and paste this and then bring this out here. And what pin were we going for? It doesn't matter, pin seven. Okay, so we want to bring our reference voltage out to pin seven. Let's put a switch in here too, just for fun. Let's go get a slide switch and put that in here and we'll wire this up to the switch just for kicks 
Let's make sure our pot is the equivalent resistance here, just to stay somewhat similar, where we had a 1K resistor here and a 1K resistor here. So that's a total of 2K. Let's make this potentiometer 2K. Okay, and because I don't want to risk blowing up my Arduino, I am going to actually cut this wire until I put a voltmeter on here and make sure that I have the voltage uh, pretty much where I want it. Where if I have zero resistance in this potentiometer, I would be applying the full nine volts to my Arduino and I don't want to risk destroying the Arduino. So let's put a voltmeter on this and let's adjust it for five volts out. So let's get another voltmeter. I am going to copy this and paste a new one. Isn't this wonderful? This is this would be hard to do in the real world. Just copy and paste your tools here. I just love it. Okay, we're going to put our positive lead just like over here. We're going to put it halfway or somewhere halfway in the voltage divider. So we'll put it at the wiper pin of the potentiometer, and then we'll put the negative pin on ground. And that can either be here or we could bring it way over to the battery, but we can just put it right here. It's the exact same location electrically. And now let's run the simulation and see how much voltage we have across our potentiometer. All right, so I see two things right off the bat. I see that my switch is turned on and I see that my potentiometer is not giving me five volts. So I'm going to Seeing as my switch is already on, I can adjust my potentiometer. So I'm just going to click and hold and I'm going to drag that. So this is like turning the knob on your potentiometer and I'm looking for five volts. Okay, so now I've got five volts coming out and notice it's not halfway for five volts. And that's because my total supply is nine volts. If this were a 10 volt supply, then I'd want this wiper exactly halfway. But seeing as it's a nine volt battery, I have to move it someplace other than exactly halfway. But let's say I've got a three volt Arduino here. Maybe I'd only want this output to be three volts. That's the beauty of having a potentiometer where if I was using this type of a voltage divider, I'd have to scrounge around for the right resistors and I'd have to replace one or two of these resistors to get my three volts. Where with a potentiometer, all I have to do is spin the dial until I get three volts. There we go. And then I can turn the switch off and then I can connect my Arduino, which is always a smart thing to do. Now let me run my wire from pin seven, stop the simulation, go from pin seven up to the output of the potentiometer, which is the wiper, the middle terminal. And then I'll turn my power switch on again, run the simulation first, and then I can turn the power on and off if I want to. So this is a great way to test your potentiometer as a voltage divider that gives you the flexibility of adjusting your output voltage very easily just by turning the knob on your potentiometer instead of having to mess around with resistors and figuring out which resistor value you need to make this happen. And let's take a look at one other nice thing about Tinkercad. Let's go back to this fixed resistor circuit and let's say that we've got our nine volt battery, a nine volt power supply here. I'll just change this to nine volts. And now I've only got 4.5 volts. And if I'm looking for five volts out, what do I have to do? I'm gonna to have to change something in my series resistor circuit here. One of these, if not both of those has to change. Now, in the real world, you'd have to either swap resistors and try this one and try that one and measure it and try another one and measure it and see how you're doing, or heaven forbid, calculate the proper values. With the beauty of the Tinkercad simulator, all you have to do is just try different values here and see what works. You don't have to do any swapping. It's just a wonderful thing using this tool to do these kinds of adjustments. So. If you have a nine volt power supply, say like a nine volt battery, you know you want a five volt reference out to your Arduino, what resistor situation are you going to come up with here? 
So I can tell you right off the bat, you're going to have to experiment if you're not familiar with this kind of stuff. And you can see my videos on circuitry math if you like, but you could just try it. That's the beauty of this simulator. So let's just try it. Well, let's just try 2K instead of 1K and see what happens. Oh, look, it went the right direction, but it went too far. Now, again, in the real world, you want to be careful because you might damage whatever you're setting your output to here. So you'd probably want to disconnect your wire before you go putzing around here. But because we're in this virtual environment, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm looking for five volts. So 2K was too much. So let's split that difference and let's try 1.5K and see what that does. It's getting us closer. Let's go 1.3K. Look at that. What happens if I do 1.2 just for fun? Okay, 1.2K, let's settle with that. 4.9 volts, pretty darn close. So who needs a potentiometer when you've got Tinkercad circuits? <laughs> and just as a reminder, let's take a look at an equivalent circuit here. Let's move this stuff over and then let's show our equivalent circuit. This one is for the first circuit we built with the two fixed resistors. And here, now I've got a 10 volt battery here where I've demoed the 9 volt battery, but this is the important piece right here, the potentiometer. So you can kind of see that if we're halfway, if we've turned the knob halfway, this is about where our wiper would be in the potentiometer. And our output voltage, if we put a meter across these two points, our output voltage would be pretty much half of 10 volts or 5 volts. And then when we put a 9 volt battery in there instead, then this wiper would have to go up just a little bit in order to give us our five volts out. So there's how you can create a voltage divider using fixed resistors or using your potentiometer.